shalom greetings to you all in the name of our lord jesus christ wherever you are it's a great opportunity that the father has granted us he loves us as uh, because we are his offspring we are his children we belong to him and he belongs to us and as we grow in that revelation we are um able to be fulfilled and fulfill our calling or fulfill our assignments to be fulfilled and that's that's what we do that's what happens when we grow in the knowledge of him we thank him for who he is to us and he considers our his his children forever you know and the issue with people is ignorance that they will always walk in ignorance as far as God is concerned but we should grow in the knowledge of our identity that's our call we've got to focus on that we've got to be consistent on that because everything lays on that the foundation is about our call it's about the call is about our identity all right because that's where the issue lies and that's where the solution will be will come from we should be able to discern we should be able to see clearly our true identity our true image all right because you can know something but not clearly we should clearly see what god says about us you know god has a way he knows us he, there's a way he knows us and that's what we are supposed to know as well how do we know ourselves how do we perceive ourselves is it consistent with the vision god has uh, for us or we do have our own and god has his own well our call is to be able to see what he sees in us because it's the true definition of our lives our identity and everything in the book of philippians we see paul trying to help us to see such things because the channel of our mind our thoughts our ideas the things that goes through our minds and souls very very important because whatever we hold dear in our hearts and our minds is going to determine what happens in our lives we do not just walk and have experiences in life that are separate from the way we think or we carry in our heads and our thoughts and our hearts and our minds that is what we will see all right so every time there's a change of the content in your mind there will be a change in experience so the experience changes according to what we have in our heart in our minds in the book of philippians paul writes to this church and in this epistle he says in verse 8 as we did read we read again yet indeed i also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of christ jesus my lord for whom i have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that i may gain christ so we did some uh, explanations here we did uh, explain what this means we discovered that Paul was so happy about this loss and for the first time we've seen somebody that has lost something and yet he's proud of it and he wanted to point them to the revelation of Jesus Christ or the precious revelation he got in the Lord Jesus that changed his mind completely and because of that change that took place in him gave him another view you know another perception about life about himself about what he counted he thought was uh, gain to him and this new perception recreated a new world in the mind of paul and this is what he's writing and he says well i used to function in a certain way and perceived life in a certain way until i saw the light of jesus christ that changed everything about me 
And verse 9 he says, And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. All right, wait now. He says in this verse, he says, and be found in him. All right, so something also very significant here, and I think this is one of the things that have been missed by uh, a lot of people. The idea of being found in him. So what we're seeing here, Paul is saying, I just saw myself in another person. I saw myself in him. Oh, my, my. You know, right now, you are somewhere. And uh, if you are awake or you are conscious, you are now aware of where you are. Is it in an office? Is it in a house? Is it in the car? Is it in the road? Anywhere that you may be found right now. You know, you are conscious. And in all those different places, you know, there is a different um, feeling, a different uh, experience, a different uh, uh different things that are taking place depending on that place in, in, depending on uh, the environment all right where you are found now all right for instance if you are maybe it's it's so hot and it is you you feel heat and, and and that is an experience because it is a sunny day for instance and when it's raining you feel cold for instance and 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 so on and so forth. If you are in a house, there are different experiences depending on what that house represents to you. All right, in an office you are working probably and uh, you have a different experience because you're busy doing something, for instance. And uh, see, these things depend, they, they will differ depending on the environment where you're found right now. So Paul now is talking about the environment called in him. <laughs> and probably we haven't sat and examined we haven't sat and examined uh, the environment the kind of environment Paul is talking about and revealing to us that well there is a certain environment and that environment is called in him in Christ Jesus and Paul is saying that the experiences I have the feeling, the perception because you see you will always see experience things depending on where you are now and most importantly if you are awakened to that reality so it depends on which reality are you awake, awakened to for instance if you are in the in the kitchen and you are cooking you have a different smell the aromas there depending on what you're cooking and the activities that are going on there if you are in the restaurant, there is something that you feel, think, or perceive, and so on and so forth. I'm saying this always depends on the circumstance, the, the, the environment where you are, because the environment can give you a different feeling and, and can cause a different perception, and so on and so forth. All right? So Paul is saying that, well, something happened to me. Something happened to me when I counted all things lost. I suffered the loss of all things and counted them as rubbish that I may gain, gain Christ. Why? And being found in him. Oh my, 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 my. How come the Paul came to that conclusion that all things are rubbish? because of the environment where he found himself. He was awakened to the reality, the fact that he is in Christ. You see this? He was awakened to the fact that he was in Christ. He was awakened to the fact that he was in Christ Jesus. He didn't, oh my, my. 
And this is what made the difference in everything concerning Paul or about Paul. His world was changed completely because he found himself in an environment that he never thought possible. So what do we find in Christ, in him? All right. Well, we'll have to define who he is. Is the fullness of God hate? Is the fullness of love? Is the fullness of life? Is the fullness of all wisdom? Is the fullness of all joy? Is the fullness of all happiness and and, and, and greatness? Every good thing can be found in him. He's the fullness of everything that God is. Is the fullness of God. Is the fullness of God hate. Glory to God forever. Now, this is this is what now is happening in, in the life and the experience of Apostle Paul. What he's seeing, what he's hearing, what he's experiencing there is beyond words. He cannot explain it all. But he says, Why am I counting all things rubbish or loss to me? How come I came to that conclusion that everything was meaningless apart from Christ Jesus? Because when I was, I found myself in him, I could see a brand new world, a brand new life, a brand new system. I, I found myself in brand new heaven. This is marvelous when he found himself in him. And finding yourself in him, being able to be awakened to that reality, to that realization is everything, brothers and sisters. This is what happened to him. That I may be found in him, my, my, my. May be found in him, not close to him. Not near him. But in him. Brothers and sisters, this is one of the revelations that Paul presents to us in the New Testament that can change your entire life if you are able to see it as it is presented to us here. Seeing yourself in Christ, being able to see yourself in Christ, literally in Christ, this is everything. This is all we need. This is all we want. And the moment that is a fact, I'm telling you there are no more teachings or words that from men to convince you otherwise because you are seeing it yourself, you are having the experience yourself, you are overwhelmed by the fullness of God the moment you awaken or the fact that you are in him. So Paul now is revealing us when I saw myself in him, everything about me changed. And this is what happens to all of us. If we are able to see ourselves in him, then the rest is history. Everything changes. And so our call is to see ourselves in him. You see, it changes your mind. It changes your world. Glory to God forever. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.